So right after immigration and customs, I was looking for my bag. I saw a Qatar employee, a traffic employee. I asked him, where is the Qibla? So he read the ayah. He was Arab. He read the ayah that, فَوَلُّ وَجْ You know, he, he read the ayah, فَأَيْنَ مَا تَوَلُّوا فَثَمَّ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ Wherever you face, you will find Allah. So you don't have to find the Qibla. Just pray wherever you want. You know, because wherever you face, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. So you don't have to find the Qibla. So he said, Shaykh, قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى فَوَلِّي وَجْهَكَ شَطْرَ الْمُسْلِذِ الْحَرَامِ you know? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, that when you pray, then you turn your face towards Masjid al-Haram, towards Makkah al-Mukarramah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this, this shayah, the poet is saying, جَهَا دَيْكُونَ تُجَيْ دَيْكُونَ Wherever I see, I see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I see the nur of Allah. I see the light of Allah. I see the qudrat of Allah. I see the power of Allah. Jaha deku tujhe deku. Me chahu bas tujhe chahu. Whenever I like someone, I like Allah. My brothers and elders, this is very deep. This is deep love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a person is in love with Allah, he doesn't love it. He, he has love for other things, but the love of Allah supersedes the love of everything. Quran says, وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدٍ I have, I have placed the love of mal, the love of wealth, the love of things in you, which is shadid, which is more. But Quran also says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ This is superlatively, shadid and ashad. The believers are the one who love Allah in extreme manner. وَإِذَا you تُلْيَتْ know, When when they... When they hear the word of Allah, when they hear the word Allah, wajilat qulubuhum, their heart starts to get trembled. Their their hearts are shaking. Something is happening in them. When they word, when they hear the word Allah, wida tuliyat alayhim ayatuhu zadatum imana. When they hear the ayats of the Quran, their iman is elevated. Wa ibadu rahman aladin amshun ala ardi hauna. You know, when, when the slaves of Rahman, when the servants of Rahman, they walk on the earth, they walk with humility. They have humility. They, they are, they, they, you know, one time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was eating food and he did, he did not take support from the back. You know, so someone asked, Ya Rasulullah, why don't you take support? He said, I want to eat like a abd, like a servant. I'm not a king. I'm not a malak rasul malik rasul I'm not the king. I'm not a king prophet, but I'm Abd al-Rasul. This is why when we say the Shahada, we say, Shadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu. We say what? Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. He is the Abd of Allah. Abd, this, this Abdiyat tells us to be humble. You know, Abdiyat tells us to, to lower ourselves. This is why Rasulullah says in a hadith, Man tawada'a lillah rafa'ahu Allah. The one who has humility, the one who lowers down, you know, what, the one who gets, he, he humiliates himself for the sake of Allah, Allah elevates him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevates this person. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, if you read the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He beautifies and He Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He praises the ikhlaq of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says innaka la ala khuluqin azim indeed we have given you the best character the best character one time a sahabi when one time Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Ali bin Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu oh Ali should I tell you the ikhlaq of awwaleen and akhireen people from Adam alayhi wa sallam to the last person on earth so Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said, Ajal ya Rasulullah. Ma huwa ya Rasulullah. Yes, please tell me. Oh, my brothers and elders, as you know, I traveled from the United States, from Atlanta. You know, the main purpose for travel, you know, is to give da'wah, to remind myself and our, ourselves. Ali radiyallahu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi said four things to Ali radiyallahu sallam. Please remember this. If you guys remember this and act upon it, inshallah my trip will be, you know, it will be, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept my trip. Four things Ali radiyallahu sallam said. Rasulullah said four things to Ali radiallahu The ikhlaq of awwaleen and akhireen. First thing he said, Tassil man qata'ak. O Ali, you, break, you, join, you join relationships. You know, do sila rahmi. Tassil man qata'ak. 
the one who breaks ties in relationship with you, you join ties with them. The one who breaks relationship and ties with you, you join ties in relationship with them. Second thing he said, تُعْتِ عَمَّنْ حَرَمَكْ O Ali, the one who deprives you, you give him their right. You grant him. The person who deprives you from your right, you give him their right. Third thing he said, وَعْفُ عَمَّنْ ظَلَمَكْ O Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنه, the one who does oppression on you, ظلم on you, you forgive them for the sake of Allah. Forgive them for the sake of Allah. Forgive them for the sake of Allah. My brothers and sisters, if you know, Quran says, "وَإِن تَعْفُ وَتَصْفَحُ وَتَغْفِرُ." You know, first thing is you forget. You know, then you forgive, and then you give hadiyah. You know, you know, one is for one is forgiving, and one is forgetting. A person forgives right there at the moment he forgives, but after ten years he remembers. You know, one of the pupizad, one of the, uh, one of one of the one of this, one of the cousins of Rasulullah sallallahu who was the son of the aunt of Rasulullah sallallahu right. When at the time of Makkah, when Rasulullah sallallahu he said that I am the Prophet of Allah, so he came to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, if you bring that many angels from the heavens and these angels testify that you are the prophet of Allah even then I will not believe on you he's the cousin, he's the family Quraysh he said even angels descend from the heavens and they testify your nabuwa, your prophethood even then I'm not gonna believe on you at the time in Madinah al you know, at the time of Fatah Makkah when everyone became Muslim Khalid bin Walid radiallahu ta'ala all the enemies who were the enemies, they became Muslim and they became Sahabi. This person, this cousin of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa also came and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I want to accept Islam now. You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he had, he, because this jumla, this sentence, the words he said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I, do not, I don't want your iman, go away. I don't want your iman. Then, you know, the wife of Rasulullah she interceded. She said, Ya Rasulullah, he's your cousin. He's your blood. Ya Rasulullah, you are the most forgiving. Because just imagine the power of words. If someone say bad words to someone, they, sometimes they get stuck in your heart. You want, to for, you want to forget them, you cannot forget them. You still remember, brother, you said 10 years ago, you said that to me. You know, 15 years ago you said that to me. This comes, because we are human beings. We are human beings. Then Rasulullah accepted the shahada of the sahabi and became a sahabi. Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. My brothers and elders, forgiving. Forgiving is something that if we forgive, then Allah will forgive us. You know, Rasulullah says in the hadith, irhamu man fil ard, yarhamukum man fil sama. The person who has mercy, have mercy on the people of the earth. The, the, the creation of the skies will have mercy on you. From the heavens you will have mercy. Mercy will descend upon you from the heavens. If you have mercy on the people, if you forgive, forgive. You know, sometimes your daughter, your son, your wife, your husband, your father, your mother, your blood relation, your sibling, your brother, your sister, they offend you and you get offended. They, sub they say something that you're like, I don't want to talk to you now, sorry. You know, right now, I'm, I'm really pissed off, they say. I'm really pissed off, don't come near me. You know, give me some time, okay? You know, my wife tells me that. Give me some time, I'll be normal. Give me some time. Right? <laughs> don't talk to me right now. Don't talk to me. It's like, you know. The so my brothers and elders, Rasulullah said the fourth thing. Ahsin man asa'a ilayk. O Ali, the one who does bad with you, you do good to him. You do good to him. The woman that used to bring trash, you know, on the way of Rasulullah used to put trash in front of the house of Rasulullah When she did not come, Rasulullah inquired about her, and he visited her, visited her house, and she's like, "I am the one who is putting trash every day at this person's house. What kind of a ikhla? What kind of a character this person has?" 
that he's he's inquiring about me he's asking my health how am i doing he's concerned about myself this is you know they say sharing is caring you know we need to we brothers and sisters you know today unfortunately in the life in the people who live in the west they we live here in america they say brother it's my life okay my life don't please don't interfere in my life it's a private business you know, it's like brother what you don't call, i don't see you in the masjid like brother it's my relationship with allah don't mess around with me you know don't don't why what, what what's wrong with you why are you bothered about my life so one thing is living a life individually one is living a life collectively living a life collect we live in a community we live in an environment we live with people we don't live alone we don't live on mars or pluto or jupiter we live in the earth planet earth there's so many people around us we when we go at work if we have people when we go to the job we have people when we go to the airport we have people when we go to the mall when we go to the masjid everywhere we go we interact with people this is why rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says khairun nas mayyan fa'un nas the best people are the ones who give benefit to humanity. What benefit, my brothers and elders? The benefit of the life hereafter. The benefit of the life, not dunya. You know, brother, I'll get you a job. I'll get you married. I'll get you a car. I'll get you this, this, this. All these things will finish. Kullu shay'in halikun illa wajha. Everything we see today will finish, will perish. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu man alayha fan. وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ All of us, we have, will die one day. Who will remain here? You know, I'm, you know, one person, I remember, I remember Ajeev, you know, I used to go in prison. You know, I used to lead Juma in prison in North Carolina. So one time, they called me from the prison, North Carolina State Department. He said, he said, Pastor, can you come and lead two Jumas today? I said, why? said we have some people from the death row there are six people death row Muslims they're getting killed tomorrow someone is getting killed after three days you know they put them in an electric chair and they turn on the the what do you call it electricity or power you know this current the current and that's it they die like this the electric chair that, that's how they you know back home or in the, in the east you know they chop off the head and stuff not here in America they put it in the electric chair so khair, they said, can you please lead them in salah? They, they have their last wish is that some imam come and lead them in salah. That's their last wish. They're Muslims, six people. I still remember. I said, okay. I said, I'll be there. I said, what time? It's 12.30. I said, okay. I went there and then they have special protocol. Brothers, they are criminals. That's why they're getting death penalty, right? They're literally criminals. No normal people, I used to lead them in salah. I, I had two random checks, like two security points I have to go through. When I went to the death row people, there were six security points. Six security points. They said they can, they can attack on you because they're criminals, you know. They're human beings, they're Muslims, but as a protocol, they said they can do anything to you, so you need to be vigilant and there's, a, there's an officer behind me, there's an officer on the right, there's an officer on the left, like you're doing something very unusual. I went there, so I talked to them, I gave them the khutbah, and I said, one thing, I said, when we, when we go to the Qabristan, when we go to the graveyard, you know, we say, Assalamu alaykum, Assalamu alaykum, Ya Ahlul Qubur, Ya Ghafir Allahu lana wa lakum, Antum salafuna wa nahnu bil athar. We say that all the people who have left us in the Qabr, in the grooves, you know, we are, you left earlier, you left before us, but we are, we are also coming. We're not living here forever, right? So I told them one thing, you are, you guys, you know, are destined to die or whatever is in your destiny that you're dying in few days. But remember one thing, if you die with the name of Allah, if you die with tawbah, with complete tawbah, with sincere repentance, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you, does not matter you have a death, you are on death row, or you're dying the second day or the third day or after a week or ten days, does not, does not matter. If you are dying with iman, if you die with saying the kalima, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الْعَبْدُ وَرَسُولُ You say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, and your soul departs, and you made tawbah before you, are, before you leave. I said, Inshallah, we, we have complete hope and belief from Allah that you will enter Jannah. And remember one thing, that's I remember what I said to them in the khutbah. I said, remember one thing, don't think that you are leaving, I'm not going to leave. Don't think that. 
that you are leaving in the life hereafter and the rest of the people who are surrounding you, these officers, they will not die. This is a total, total misguidance. This is a total ill belief, wrong yaqeen, wrong conviction. Each one of us have to go. No one here is here. No one will live here permanently, my brothers and elders. Every, each one of us, we will taste death. Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut. Every single soul have to taste death. Al kayyisu man dana nafsahu wa amila lima ba'd al maut. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying in a hadith in Tirmidhi Sharif that intelligent person is one who prepares for death before it arrives. Intelligent person, intellectual person. He's intelligent, he's intellectual. Who? Who's preparing for death? Wal ajiz, foolish person is one. Who ya Rasulullah? Man atba'a nafsahu hawaha. Who obeys his nafs and desire. Who's obeying his nafs does not matter. Whatever his nafs tells you, you're doing. So these words, these couplets that I was reciting, he's saying, Main chahu bas tujhe chahu. When we have the love of Allah, then we only ask Allah. Main chahu bas. When we are liking someone, we like Allah. We love Allah. We thank Allah. We show our gratitude to Allah. On the day of Eid, what the Imam Sahib is saying, what everyone is saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allahu, Wallahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alham. It is Sunnah to recite this, right? In Haramain, right after Fajr Salah, they start Takbirat. And it's exact Ishraq time, they start Salah. In Haramain, in Makkah and Medina. You know, after Fajr, they have Takbirat. You know, what are Takbirat? What is Allahu Akbar? I am surrendering. I am I'm saying this from my heart that Allah, nothing, no one is great except you. No one is great except you. I, I remember when I used to do business in, in Chicago, I used to go back and forth to Pakistan. I had one Pathan brother in my locality in Karachi. He said to me, he said, uh, Fazan bhai, I heard you go to America. Tell me one thing. He's from Koita, Koita Wal. He's like, Fazan bhai, America is so big. I said, yeah, America is so big. Bada America. He said, Fazan bhai, how big is America? He said, America is very big. After that, you know what he t- said to me? He said, Fazan bhai, are you seeing the greatness of America or are you seeing the greatness of Allah? Is Allah more great than America or America is great? I said, Allah is great. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> Only Allah is great. Allahu Akbar, Akbarul Akbar. Akbarul Akbar, the greatest of the greatest is Allah. No one is greater than Allah. No one is greater than Allah. No matter how big things we have, no matter how big land we have, no matter how much money we have, no matter how much intelligence we have, we can never, never, ever comprehend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our minds. You come in my heart, but I cannot, I cannot, I, I cannot understand you. I cannot understand you. I, I can feel you in my heart, but I cannot understand you from my mind. Oh, oh my Rabb, I recognize that this is one of the signs that I can feel Allah. I can feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we see Allah? No, but we feel Allah. Allah is with us. Wherever you go, Allah is with you. The, the shahir, the poet is saying next, that machahu bas I have only this wish left in my heart. I have only one wish left in my heart. Whenever I ask about anything, I ask about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I say, Ya Allah, I never asked about yourself. Ya Allah, you give me your connection. You give me your love. Like I said yesterday, Rasulullah used to make dua, Allahumma inni asaluka hubbak. Oh Allah, I ask you about your love. Wa hubba man yuhibbuk. I ask you the love of the people who love you the most. So asking the love of Allah, asking the connection of Allah, asking, you know, the ta'alluq of Allah, ilaqa ma Allah, that how can we get connected to our Lord? How I can be in connection with Him? You know, I will read the couplets of the same poem and these are he's saying kehta hu jo main nahi kehta 
मुझ में अब तो मैं नहीं रहता मेरी रूह में तू उतरा है मेरी रूह में तू उतरा है दबे पाऊ दबे पाऊ जहा देखू तुझे देखू मैं चाहू बस तुझे कहता हूं जो मैं नहीं कहता आई एम सेंग वर आई एम नॉट सेंग शायर सिंग वर आई एम सेंग वर आई एम नॉट सेंग इज समन एल्स उज कंट्रोलिंग माई लाइफ इज समन एल्स हुज नूर आई कैन फील and he is controlling all the aspects of my life kehta hu jo main nahi kehta mujh mein ab to main nahi rehta i am not in myself anymore i'm not like before i'm changed something happened something happened something something huge happened in my life there's a transformation you know i have allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with me you know i have my friend with me you know when whenever there is You know what there's there's one sahabi Zubair radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said to his son that oh my son when you have any problem you know say say this that Zubair you know the maula of Zubair maula of Zubair is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm stuck here I you know just say Hazrat Zubair radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has such a connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's saying to his son whenever you have any problem just say my name to Allah you know like we have higher dignities so for example i'm going in some government you know office here and mashallah muzaffar bhai says just say my name you know i'm in the police <laughs> say my name you know muzaffar oh they know me oh man don't worry man you're the friend of muzaffar come here come sit here mashallah they give you protocol right they give you mashallah they honor you this is world this is worldly status worldly worldly you know whatever gain and benefit Once you have connection with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, my brothers and sisters, you know now Zubair is now saying that if you want anything, just tell. Just when you ask Allah, say, say the Maula of Zubair. Although we all belong to, you know, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is all of our, you know, He's our Lord. He's Lord to every one of us. But because Zubair radiallahu anhu who had such a connection with Allah, he's saying to his son that if you have any problem, just you know, say, say my name to Allah. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will do your work. you will get it whatever you want my brothers and sisters these are the people who gave their life in the love of allah they gave their life you know one sahabi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he saying i smell the fragrance of jannah from uhud i smell the fragrance of jannah from uhud what is he smelling they they gave their life they they were in total devotion they surrendered you know a muslim means muslim comes from the root word taslim aslim taslam you know we submit our will ya allah what you want i will do what you want i'm not going to fulfill my desire i'm not going to live a life of desires but i will do what you want i'm saying you know in the couplet in the poem that mujh mein ab to main nahi rehta meri ruh mein tu utra hai o allah you have entered into my soul <coughs> he's saying oh allah you have entered into my soul dabe paau dabe paau i don't know how to translate that <laughs> you know? so my brother then as we as as believers as muslims we have an we have we have a big responsibility we do not come here just to earn just to live just to enjoy but for the enjoyment you know rasulullah sallallahu used to say allahumma la aisha illa aishu al akhirah There is no enjoyment for this world, but the real enjoyment is in the life hereafter. The real enjoyment is in the life hereafter. You know, this life is a test. Liya bulu akum, ayyukum, ahsan wa amala. I will test you. I will see which one of you will please Allah, which one of you will please their desire, to please their inner soul inside. You know, their Quran says, "Fa alhamaha, fujuraha, wa taqwaha." I have embedded two things in you. last inshallah thing i will say i'll we'll finish fa alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha i have embedded two two things in you one thing 
is I have embedded the means, the, the strength for you to do sins. Fujuraha, fujura are sins. And first Allah SWT talks about sins. Why? There's no effort to bring dust in the masjid. But there's an effort to vacuum the masjid. There's an effort to bring trash, trash in the trash can. Let's put trash in the trash can. Is there an effort for this or that? No, everyone. <laughs> Whoever has a trash, they put in the trash can. But there is an effort to empty the trash can. There is an effort to clean the dust, to vacuum the carpet, to remove, to remove the sins, to get rid of the sins. There is an effort. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ You know, there's this, this ruku that Allah SWT revealed in Surah Ali Imran. I want to share this. Quran is saying, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ Run towards the forgiveness of your Lord. وَجَنَّةٍ And towards Jannah. عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ The width of this Jannah is more than the heavens and the earth. وَعِدَّةٍ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ This Jannah has been created for the people who have taqwa. Who are they? Who are they? Alladina yunfiquna fi sarra. These are the people. Alladina yunfiquna fi sarra iwa dharra. These are the people who spend in openly, secretly. These are the people who spend when they are rich, when they are poor. And then, wal kaadimin al ghayd. These are the people, they drink their anger. They drink their anger. They become angry, but they drink it. They control their nafs. They have control over their body. They become angry, but they control their emotions and anger. They, you know, they drink it, they, they control and then النَّاسِ The people of Jannah are the ones who forgive. Wallahu يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Allah loves the people who do ihsan. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً These are the people of Jannah, the people muttaqeen, the people who have taqwa. When they commit any open indecency, fahisha, an open indecency, أو ظلموا أنفسهم or they does or they do oppression on themselves. You know what they do? What Allah SWT is saying when a person commits a sin, and we will all commit sins. We are human beings. We are not angels, right? The people of Jannah, the people who have taqwa, when they commit an open indecency and they do zulm on themselves, they do oppression on themselves. You know what they do? First thing Allah says, ذكروا الله. They remember Allah right away. These are the people of Jannah, the people of Taqwa. Allah. They remember Allah right away. And then what they do? فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ Immediately, they ask forgiveness from Allah. فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ For their sins that they have committed, the wrong doings that they have done. They ask forgiveness from Allah right away from their sins. And then Allah is saying, وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ is there, any, is there anyone other than Allah who will forgive their sins? You know, is there anyone, uh, anyone other than Allah who will forgive their sins? وَلَمْ يُسِرُّوا They do not insist on sins. عَلَى مَا فَعْلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Then Allah is saying, أُولَٰئِكَ جَزَاؤُهُمْ These are the people Allah have reward. جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي They will have paradise. تَجْرِي مِن تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ Jannah, you know, these rivers will be flowing underneath it. خالدين في خالدين they will live there forever. And then my brothers and sisters, listen to this last ayah, what Allah is saying here. Allah is saying, وَنِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ وَنِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ This is how Allah grants reward to the people who do actions. Who do? عَامِلِينَ Amal is what? Amal, you know what is Amal, right? Action. Who do actions? In English they say actions speak louder than? Words. If I say, mashallah, make a lecture for an hour, and I say, I contradict my talk myself. I say, what are you saying, Imam Sahib? You're saying something else, and what are you doing? So we need to, you know, we need to ponder what we are doing, where are we going? Fa'ayna tadhabun, where are we heading? What's our goal in life? Do we have an objective of life, or I'm just living a life like the other people they're living? I'm just following, I'm trending, I'm following the trend. What's trending on Twitter? You know, I'm just following the trend. I'm following the Western culture. I'm following whatever is in the society, whatever people are doing. No, my brothers and elders, we are someone else. We are Muslims. We are believers. We have goal in life. We have an objective of life. We have been created for to first of all to worship Allah. To recognize Allah. 
to recognize the recognition of Allah. This is the purpose of our life. And first thing, we recognize Allah, and then we, we make an effort on the rest of humanity to recognize Allah. Join, you know, we, one, one time, Dawud salam asked Allah, Ya Allah, I want, to be, I want to become your beloved. I want to become your beloved. Now Allah SWT tells Dawud salam, Oh Dawud, put my love in the hearts of people, you will, you will become my beloved. Put my love in the hearts of people, you will become my beloved. Dawud salam says, Ya Allah, the hearts are in your control. How can I do that? You control the hearts. Like Imam Sa was giving Lukma yesterday to me. Ya Muqallibul Qulub, right? The controller of the hearts. The one who changed the hearts is Allah. He's saying, Ya Allah, the hearts are in your control. What can I do? He says, O oh Dawood, you say the greatness. You say my greatness in front of humanity. You say my greatness, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and elders today, whatever we do, words have an effect on our life. When we have any problem and we turn directly towards medicine, you know, then it shows that what kind of conviction we have in our heart. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is saying that treat your patients by giving sadaqah. Treat your patients by giving sadaqah. That doesn't make sense. Na'udhu billah. How? What's going to happen? I have, I have a headache. And Rasulullah is saying, what? Give sadaqah. <laughs> How can my headache? Why? Because everything is in control. The headache. Who gave you the headache? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who can take away your headache? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, brother. You're wrong. If you eat two Tylenol or two ibuprofen, you'll be fine. You know? And people, mashallah, I know people, they have headaches, they take two Tylenol. Nothing happens. Then doctor sahab is here, right? So, and then they again come to the doctor sahab. He said, doctor sahab, I took two ibuprofen, nothing happened. Like mashallah, our imam sahab, <laughs> you know, Gaviscon one time, nothing is happening. <laughs> again, Gaviscon, nothing is happening. Again, Gaviscon, nothing is happening. Because this illness comes from who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I went to the biggest hospital in Islamabad, in Pakistan. There's a big scenery, big calligraphy on the hospital. It says, وَإِذَا مَرِضْتُ فَهُوَ يَشْفِي The doctors are saying, Bhai, Shifa, cure is in the hand of Allah. I cannot do anything. I can only treat you what I know, medicine, you know. Don't think I have Shifa in my, in my hand. Don't think I have the cure. The cure is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah can cure you with medicine. Allah can cure you without medicine. This yaqeen we have to bring. You know, Allah can cure you with honey. Allah can cure you with black seed. It, you know, Rasulullah is saying, there's a hadith, you know, the closest meaning, that Habbatu Sauda has, has the treatment for 99 diseases. Black seed, 99 diseases. Miswak has a benefit. You know, people who do miswak, they have benefit of 70 diseases. 70. And the least ni'mah when a person can get, if you do miswak five times, is what? Allah will give you iman. Allah will give you the kalima, will give you tawfiq to say the kalima before you die. Just doing miswak. Just a small sunnah. You know, I was one time, they held me at the airport in Chicago over here. I was bringing the whole box of miswak. <laughs> and they say, what is this? I'm like, this is Islamic toothbrush. What do you mean? <laughs> right? They don't know what is miswak. So it's Islamic toothbrush. That's, that's how we brush our teeth. So brothers, we, these are small sunnahs we need to bring in our life. You know, I was saying to Brother Muzaffar today earlier, you know, when Mawlana Hakim Akhtar Sahib says, Naqshe qadam nabi ke hain, jannat ke raaste. Naqshe qadam nabi ke hain, jannat ke raaste. The footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the way towards paradise. Allah se milate hai sunnat ke raaste. If you want to meet Allah, you need to implement sunnah in your life. Any person you want to see and you want to check their durability, their authenticity, you want to check their reliability, you know what you see? You see how much sunnah is in their life. If they're away from sunnah, brothers, they're making you a fool. <laughs> you know, you're just getting fooled by them. Why? Because the sunnah is the way to meet Allah. If you want to meet Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Ibrahim alayhi salam, Khalilullah, Musa alayhi salam, Kalimullah, you know, Is Ismail alayhi salam, Zabihullah, you know, Isa alayhi salam, you know, Isa alayhi salam is Ruhullah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam as Habibullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Habibullah, 
Habibullah, he, the most beloved to Allah is, was Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, Allah SWT says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu. Indeed, Allah and His angels, Yusalluna ala nabi. They send salawat, they send durood, they send salutations ala nabi on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. O believers, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. You also send salawat, you also send durood, you also send salutation on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam Malik rahimahullah says, underneath this ayah, and need the tafsir of the commentary of this ayah. When a person hears this ayah, it is wajib for him to recite durood one time. Wajib. All, all of us we read durood. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Two requests inshallah will make and we'll make dua. First request my brothers and elders, my sisters who are listening, we make tawbah and change our life. This Ramadan Allah gave us was a wake-up call for us. Ramadan was a wake-up call. But if we're still sleeping, if we don't change our life, if we don't get benefit from these moments that are left, you know, now right now only moments are left for us. Seconds are left. Minutes are left. Allah knows how many minutes are left. Who's going to live for how long? Allah knows that. So first thing we make tawbah. Sincere tawbah. Ask Allah SWT. You know, forgiveness over sins. Ya Allah, I want to change my life. I want to come closer to you. Ya Allah, I want your love. I want the love of your Nabi. I want the love of the Sahaba. Ya Allah, I want to bring my life according to your commandments. I want to follow your commandments. I want to bring your life according to the sunnah of your beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we make this dua. First request, my brother, let's make tawbah. Second request, we control our tongue. The majority of the sins that we commit is from the tongue. Ma'ad ibn Jabal, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said to Ma'ad ibn Jabal, O oh Ma'ad, should I tell you the khulasa of deen, the summary of deen, the conclusion of deen? He said, Ajal ya Rasulullah, ma huwa ya Rasulullah. Nabi, brothers, look here. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa took out his tongue and he grabbed his tongue from his two fingertips like this. He said, Thak, he said, Kuffa hadha ya Ma'ad. O oh Ma'ad, safeguard your tongue. Safeguard your tongue. He said, Ya Rasulullah, you will go in the hellfire because of misusing our lisan, our tongue. Ya Ibn Jabal. O son of Jabal, the majority of the people will end up in the hellfire by misusing their tongue, their lisan. The majority, my brothers and elders, listen to this again. The majority, the majority, the majority, the majority of the believers will be burned in the hellfire. Why? Because of misusing their tongue, backbiting, slandering, cussing, you know, talking in a loud voice in front of your parents, disrespecting. You know, all the time this tongue is ghibat, you know, words of takabbur, words of arrogance. You know, my brothers and elders, we need to be very watchful from this tongue. This tongue will take us in Jahannam. Put, put a break on our tongue. Our, our elders say, Pele socho, fir tolo, fir bolo. Three things they say. Urdu mein bata hai. Pele socho, first think, fir tolo, then weigh in your head what you're about to say. Fir bolo, then speak it out. First think, then, then weigh what you're about to say. Is it appropriate? And then say it out. You know, these words, so two things I want to make. First thing, we make tawbah. Second thing, we control our tongue. We don't... You know, some one person, the best Muslim is one who safeguards another Muslim, another believer from his tongue and his hand. You know, we don't give any pain, anyone, any harm. You know, sometimes we, do, we don't do anything, but people have negative assumptions. This negativity is a lot in women. All the time they're, you know, no, 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 no. You know, they, they do like this. No, brother, why, why we think negative? We have to all, a Muslim is always positive. Remember this. A Muslim is always positive. And he's thinking ways to give discount to a believer. He's giving ways. Oh, I didn't see you in Fajr. No, brother, this is not, this is not the question. I say, brother, Masha, probably, you know, he was, he prayed at his work. He was at work that time. I didn't know. Allah knows. We have to give discount to people. You know, we don't grab people. We are not the judge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the judge. Allah is al-hakam. Al-Hakam is Allah. Allah is the one who will make the faisala. Allah will make the decision on the day of judgment. We are not the one to judge anyone. We are not the ones to judge anyone. So may Allah give all of us tawfiq inshallah to implement this in our life, my brothers and elders, to make tawbah 
and to convey this to the whole of humanity and to safeguard our tongue inshallah we all make dua inshallah read the Durush Sharif Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidu Majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidu Majid الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وسلم وتسليما اللهم ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هدي ويتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان وجعلنا من الراشدين وجعلنا مع الأبرار وجعلنا مع المتقين اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والهزن ونعوذ بك من العز والكسل ونعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل ونعوذ بك من غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال اللهم اغفنا بحلالك عن حرامك اللهم اغفنا بحلالك عن حرامك وأغننا بفضلك عمن سواك وأغننا بفضلك عمن سواك وأغننا بفضلك عمن سواك اللهم استر وراتنا وآمن رعاتنا اللهم إنا نجعلك في نحورهم ونعوذ بك من شرورهم اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وشماتة الأعداء لا إله إلا الله الحليم الكريم سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والغنيمة من كل بر والسلامة من كل إثم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هم إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا كربا إلا نفسته ولا ضالا إلا هديته ولا مبتلا إلا عافيته ولا حاجة يلا كربا إلا قضيتها ويسرتها يا أرحم الراحمين يا أرحم الراحمين يا ذا الجلال والكرام يا ذا الجلال والكرام يا أول الأولين يا آخر الآخرين يا ذا القوة المتين يا راحم المساكين يا أرحم الراحمين يا أرحم الراحمين يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله forgive all our sins يا الله الله forgive all our sins يا الله الله the sins we did in the daytime and the nighttime يا الله the sins we did in the morning and evening يا الله الله the sins we did openly and secretly يا الله يا الله the sins we did deliberately and by mistake يا الله الله forgive all of us يا الله الله forgive all of us يا الله الله forgive all of us يا الله يا الله Allah, ya Allah, accept our gathering, Ya Allah. Accept this majlis, Ya Allah. Accept this majlis, Ya Allah. Accept this majlis, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us your love, Ya Allah. Give us your love, Ya Allah. Give us your connection, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us your connection, Ya Allah. Give us your ta'alluq, Ya Allah. Give us your ta'alluq, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, remove the yaqeen of makhluk from our hearts, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, remove the yaqeen of the creation from our hearts, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us your connection, Ya Allah. Give us your greatness, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us your greatness, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the love of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, make us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the love of the Sunnah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make it easy for us to practice Sunnah in our life, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make it easy for us to practice Sunnah in our life, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, have mercy on all of us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, have mercy on us, Ya Allah, when we leave this world, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make the last day of our life the most beautiful day of our life, Ya Allah. The last moment of our life, the most beautiful moment of our life, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the kalima when we leave this world, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the feet to recite the kalima when we leave this world, Ya Allah. Ya Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the love of the Sahaba Ikram, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us the love of the Mashaykh, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, of Ahlul Bayt, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, of Ulama Ikram, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, have mercy on our parents, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive them, Ya Allah. Forgive them, Ya Allah. Forgive them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive our grandparents, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, our relatives, Ya Allah, our uncle and aunts, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, those of us, Ya Allah, who died in the state of Iman, Ya Allah, forgive all of us, Ya Allah. Forgive all of them, Ya Allah. Forgive all of them, Ya Allah. Forgive all of them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, open the doors of Jannah for them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, remove Azabi cover from them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, remove Azabi cover from them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, remove Azabi cover from them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, cure the sick, Ya Allah. Cure the sick, give them Shifa, Ya Allah. Give them speedy recovery, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we are physically and spiritually sick, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, cure our ill diseases, our disease of the heart, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us ikhlas, Ya Allah. Give us ikhlas, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us ikhlas, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, save us from takabbur, Ya Allah. 
Allah save us from backbiting, Ya Allah. Allah save us from slandering, Ya Allah. Allah save us from cussing, Ya Allah. Save us from using our tongue, Ya Allah, in haram, Ya Allah. Allah save us from looking at haram, Ya Allah. From eating haram, Ya Allah. Ya Allah give us rizqi halal, Ya Allah. Allah feed us rizqi halal, Ya Allah. Allah feed us rizqi halal, Ya Allah. Feed our children rizqi halal, Ya Allah. Save us from haram food, Ya Allah. From drinking haram, Ya Allah. From looking haram, Ya Allah. From listening at haram, Ya Allah. From going near haram, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us pleasure, Ya Allah. Give us taste and lazzat in halal, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us pleasure in halal, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us content. Give us qinaat, Ya Allah. Give us, Ya Allah, make us, give us qinaat, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us content. Ya Allah, give us contentment, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us steadfastness, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us istiqamat, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us istiqamat, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, make us from your beloved ones, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive all of our past sins, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us from the people who make tawbah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make us from the people who realize their mistakes, Ya Allah. Allah, who realize their mistakes, Ya Allah, who make tawbah on their sins, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, don't make our hearts, Ya Allah, hard, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us, Ya Allah, make our hearts soft, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make our hearts soft, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, forgive all the human beings, Ya Allah. Give guidance to the people who live in this country, Ya Allah, who live in this city, Ya Allah, who live in this neighborhood, Ya Allah, who live, Ya Allah, our neighbors, Ya Allah, guide them, Ya Allah. Guide them, Ya Allah. Give them the name of Islam, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, guide all the people who live, live on this island, Ya Allah. We live all the ya Allah, all all the islands of the Caribbean, ya Allah. All the people of Central America and South America, ya Allah. Ya Allah, North America, ya Allah. All the Asia and Europe, ya Allah. China and Russia, ya Allah. Guide all of the all the human beings, ya Allah. Ya Allah, save them from the hellfire, ya Allah. Ya Allah, take us to Haramain, ya Allah. With adab, ya Allah. Ya Allah, take us to Haramain with adab, ya Allah. Ya Allah, take us to Haramain with adab, ya Allah. The brothers and sisters have not done Hajj, ya Allah. Take us them, take them for Hajj, ya Allah. Take them for Hajj, ya Allah. Take them for Hajj, ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, the brothers and sisters were not married yet. Ya Allah, give them, Ya Allah, good spouses, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give them good matches, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, our Imam Sahib is here. Make dua for his wife, Ya Allah. Give him, give, give him pious wife, Ya Allah. Give him pious wife, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, grant him jazai khair for leading, leading us in Tarawih, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, grant him success in this life and the hereafter, Ya Allah. Grant, Ya Allah, give success to his parents and his family, Ya Allah. Give them jazai khair, Ya Allah. Give them jazai khair, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you are the one who can reward, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, reward all of us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the brothers and sisters, Ya Allah, who are in need, Ya Allah, they requested for dua. Ya Allah, fulfill their desires and needs, Ya Allah. Allah fulfill all their jayas desires, Ya Allah. The jayas needs, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, my brother, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the brothers and sisters who don't have children, Ya Allah, make dua for them. Ya Allah, give them pious children, Ya Allah. Give them pious children, Ya Allah. The brothers and sisters who have children, Ya Allah, make their children in the coolness of their eyes, Ya Allah. Make their children in the coolness of their eyes, Ya Allah. Make their children in the coolness of our eyes, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, save our youth in this country, Ya Allah. Save our youth in this country, Ya Allah. Guide them, Ya Allah. Guide them, Ya Allah. Guide them, Ya Allah. Allah, Ya Allah, the brothers and sisters, Ya Allah, who requested for dua, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, you, you know their hajat, you know their needs, Ya Allah, fulfill all their needs, Ya Allah. Fulfill all their needs, Ya Allah. Allah accept from all of us, Ya Allah. Allahumma Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Allahumma Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-sami'u al-alim wa tub alayna innaka anta al-tawabu al-rahim wa sallallahu ta'ala ala rasuli khalqihi Muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Bi rahmatika, Ya Rahmatullah.